Hi, my name is Kim, and welcome to Oh My Glockster. Yes, I know that's a weird word. I just uh, had to play on words with that because I'm always like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, Oh My Glockster is a um, interactive tool that we can use online for students so they can make different projects. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go over my Google Slides with you, and so we can get a better understanding of what Glockster. It's really not oh my Glockster, it's just Glockster, but I put that oh my in there because that's just been my my whole year. So oh my goodness. So oh my Glockster, here we go. Um, we're going to quickly watch this video. If someone asked you what is a bear, where would you Sorry. Say? I'm sorry, we'll try that again. If someone asked you what is a bear, where would you begin? Perhaps you could use Wikipedia to describe where bears live and what they eat. Or maybe you could use Google Images to show what different types of bears look like, or YouTube videos to show bears interacting in their natural habitats. The internet is full of useful resources, not to mention your own text, pictures, sounds, and videos. But what if you could have all this content in one place? With a glog, that's exactly what you get. With thousands of blogs categorized by subject and endless ways of expressing ideas, the Glogpedia library makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. Our structured and approved digital content for learners allows anyone to find and share information in our library as well as get inspiration for creating new glogs. Why wait? Start glogging. And how would you describe the bear? So that is just um, Glockster's introduction of what they're about. And uh, this is the main page. I, I am so sorry because when I, when I first got this, it was free for educators. I don't know if it was a COVID thing or what, but I started with my classroom and it was free. Um, now it's $5 a month. I've been paying it even through the summers, just messing around with it. Uh, I am today, I'm gonna let you um, make your own blog, but I had to put you in as a student in my classroom so that you could do that. Um, if you do decide on purchasing it, it is, it is $5 a month. and. If you didn't, if you don't like it at all, then you you don't have to purchase it, of course. But I did email them and ask them if we could get at least a trial, um, because I know I don't like doing. Well, I'll do all these trials and then I'll forget about it, and then it gets a recurring payment, and I don't want any of that for anyone. But I did email them. I don't know if they'll grant that access or what. But um, right now, I do have y'all. Um, I can add y'all into a classroom and you can start making your own blog. I don't, you might have to email me to do that since this is a recorded video, I forgot. I'm live, but not live. So um, back to Glockster, it is just a web 2.0 platform that allows users to create interactive online posters called Glogs by adding images, videos, audio, and text. As a learner-centered tool, Glockster supports students' building of knowledge by allowing them to construct their own meaning of the content. So this uh, slide three, and I have um, I have a file with this um, that I can share my slides with, but um, it tells you exactly like how to create a blog, um, getting onto the website, uh, what you need to do, and then I have a video as well. So on my slide four, I can't even talk today. Um, I went ahead and linked some planning sheets because I think like when your lower grades, even your higher grades, um, it's it's good to have some kind of document. So I do have planning sheets um, that I'm gonna let this load before I start explaining it. Um, just like your your project topic, like if you're going to do a poster. It's a project template, and this is always good for um, kids to have so they, you know, they have an outline of or what they're looking for. And um, 
your glocks your poster yourself um this is a project for a poster about them explaining this would be good for the first day of school um you know you want them to plan it first before they just go in there looking at and images and all kinds of stuff so the one con that i did not like about glockster it has like a glogopedia like an encyclopedia so it's already templates already made since glockster's for all grade levels and um in education it's um you know the templates can be ranging so i taught fifth grade last year i would choose the templates that i would because kids can create their templates and you can choose a blank template for them but um, I didn't like them going through the Glogopedia because there's just, you know, there's some things fifth graders cannot see that 12th graders can see. So uh, that's the only con I really did see. I didn't see any restrictions where you could kind of block that. Uh, what I did was just, you know, monitor and then make sure that they were on the correct things they needed to be. And um, they weren't clicking on different things on the Glogopedia. It's good to like for them to kind of search, but still some things might pop up, kind of like YouTube. So. I would keep an eye on that, uh, but these are just some templates that you could uh, use uh, just like for a project and then of course your rubric. I also have um, my, I made an own little blog for this session. Uh, well, actually did this in the spring, a quick uh, tech tasting. So um, if you click right here, these are all links. This is my blog. So um, you can, kind of see how it's just like a big poster, but it is animated. So like I could put a picture, um, think you can, I wrote right here, you can write text right here. You might say, what is Glockster EDU? And I made this up. So <laughs> it's a new way to improve learning with the groove. Don't stray away, come and stay. You're le you'll learn a new way to create an interactive, to create an interactive tool that is way cool. So um, this one is a 3D, and I just put a bus. You can put, there's lots of 3D models kids can go through. Um, let's see if this will load some more or less you can see. So if you click on it, the kids can, you know, really model and see what's, what a bus is about. You can just go inside the bus. You can go, oh, I think I'm out. And they can really... There's the rows and it's really cool, really interactive. So like uh, we did one on Anne Frank and we did uh, the annex that she was in and the kids were able to go into it upstairs, downstairs to see where she was hiding. And I thought that was really cool. So these are 3D models. Um, you can play music. So that was a play button for them to press. Don't worry, I know school's just gonna start, but everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> so Bob Marley, um, the glasses, this is a link, so you can uh, embed links in there, and this link just takes you to uh, how to get started with Glockster, it's just a blog. Um, so I put that together just for you guys, and like I said, you put pictures, you can put more than, I just kept it simple because I can get a little bit carried away at times, but uh, I really enjoyed using Glockster in the classroom. The kids did too. Um, if you do want to just kind of play around, I think I have, mine is only for 40 students. I don't know that I'd have 40 teachers just want to come and join uh, Glockster, but if you do want to, uh, there's a student registration because I can always delete it when it's done just so that you know how to play with it. And then there's an educator code you put in and this would be free because it would be like my classroom. And since my class hasn't started yet, I just wanted um, teachers to get, you know, comfortable with messing around with it and playing with it before they, you know, purchase the $5 a month. And I'm so sorry about that because I promise, promise it was free and things changed. So I did email them. Maybe they'll give us a free um, trial. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just a teacher, so I, I really don't know. But um, I did set up a little classroom for this training and then there's an educator code that you can put in and I can uh, I, as a teacher you can access every kid it's kind of like a flip grid you access their blog before it's, it's you know the rest of the class can see it so not everybody's gonna see it but just so that you can play around with it so if you want to do that there is the link to get to the student registration and there is the code and um, if you have any more questions, you can email me at Kimberly, 
dot Quiroz, that's Kimberly dot Q U I R O Z at ECISD dot school or Edgar County. Uh, either one, I'll check um, if you have questions on blogging because I know that you're watching this while I'm not live. But uh, thank you, and I hope that you liked Oh My Glockster.